I'm sitting here with Vince Marjes. He does sales and retail and social media consulting. For the people on the internet uh, who don't know you, let's talk about your, your career and your story. So I think I uh, started working on the floor as a sales associate, being like a shop grom selling DCs and like whatever Adidas's and Clark's and like diesel jeans and just Levi's engineered, like mm. stuff that, that was ahead of its time for that area of Orange County when I was when I was working and just starting going to school and went to college and stuff, it was literally just being immersed in um, in and around product and mm -hmm. around people yeah. that um, were doing things a little bit differently. Yeah. So going from like a shop employee to learning how to do a buy, going to trade shows, really other people believing in me, going yeah, check out the line, mm -hmm. tell me what you like, look at the budget and write it and wow. order it for the store. Right. So it was like trial by fire. You never got it right. right. You know, you, you can always hit a dud and things flop, but mm -hmm. it was just uh, the belief of other people, whether mm -hmm. or not they know it or not, it was like they put faith in me, so I want to put faith in others. Right. I want to instill that in others, and right. it gets me it gets me like juiced. Like, right. oh, man, I want to see that fly, you wow. know? So it came from just starting small and then just being around it, offering other people help, mm -hmm. and then um, just got the bug to start my own thing with... Uh, a good friend of mine in San Diego. He uh, owned Face Value. We uh, ran it together. Footwear and apparel boutique in Little Italy. Um, the economy swallowed us whole, but right. we, we got out. And it, was, it was tough. It was painful, man, because yeah. you wanted to keep on going. You know, you had this vision, uh -huh. and uh, you know, I, you know, I'll be. I'll be a little vain. We were ahead of our time. We sold things that San Diego couldn't handle. Now I do um, sales, retail, uh, learn, do a little bit of marketing, social media, um, consulting on design. Done a little bit of everything, like yourself. Jack of all trades, but uh, right. trying to be really good at something. You know right, I mean? right. So, um, yeah. This is perfect, though, because a lot of people who are watching mm -hmm. my YouTubes, the biggest mystery for a green company is like sales and marketing. So the first sure. time that I actually um, had known about anything that you've been a part of was when I walked into Face Value in Little Italy and was it 2007? Uh, 2000, it was probably 07 or 08. 08, 08, 07 yeah. or 08. Yeah. And I had heard about Face Value and um, I was blown away. It was a small location, yeah. but 600 square feet. 600 square feet. The buying was insane. And oh, I, as you, you just alluded to, it was ahead of its time. It was, it was fun. Um, uh, my business partner and friend Shane, and we just went for it and wanted to do something different in San Diego. Do a little bit more forward-thinking footwear, some forward-thinking apparel. And then Tell me about all of your experience before that. Coming to a point where you're like, hey, we could put a dope boutique together and these are the kind of brands that I want to showcase. Yeah, no, I just, honestly, it was uh, inspiration from people all along the way. Um, people that were either my bosses or other buyers. Just to see like uh, them mix passion and some art and some science business all together mm -hmm. um, really just got me excited about um, you know tr trying to you know think outside the box and do more. everybody listen like this guy has experience buying being on the floor or I should say you have experience being on the floor yeah. working the floor several different floors for different kind of brands different kind of fashion lines uh -huh. different kind of retail and you owned a very specific vision of what type of brands and products you want to bring to the marketplace right so having said that what are people not knowing a new brand what do they what are they not understanding basics about sales i think first and foremost is making sure that uh you have a business plan like i mean you can come out and just sling t-shirts and be like, here's my here's my PDF, here's my one sheet line guide, and here's my wholesale, my retail. Like, you got to figure out your margin, your raw cost of good. What kind of brand do you want to be? And so take it from there. Like, make sure you drive down the proper paths. Say you want to be in Barney's one day. And sure. you're creating your line to be like, man, my goal is to be in Barney's, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, you should be lining yourself to, self up or 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 working to get into tastemaker stores yeah. so that Barney's will pay attention because they, they want they pay attention to who's out there, of what's out there, what publications it's in, what blogs it's on, of that kind of stuff, right? right? But you could shoot yourself in the foot first if like the first crack you get, let's just do Tilly's. Right. Because they say yes, which is an awesome thing. Yeah. Totally awesome thing for, you know, um, yeah. sales and whatnot. But 
it's hard to like work your way back up. Yeah. And vice versa. Sure. You know, but sure. um, having a, a, a plan, like a retail plan. Yeah. Like this is the type of shop I want to be in and these are the kind of brands I want to hang next to is very important to edge out because there needs to be a strategy in, in, in terms of what retail you're able to get into sure. to make it to that goal.